Hi, this is David Foster, and you can't tell from where the camera is right now, but this is a very horse-friendly house. We have a huge picture there of horses. All the family rides. We're horse people. And, you know, bringing the Mustangs home would be absolute music to my ears. Have you ever looked into the eyes of a horse? They have such soul. I've been a horse lover all of my life, and I cannot stand by knowing that these animals may go extinct, and many Americans aren't aware that they can prevent this. They say diamonds are forever, and well, I think wild horses should be too. My name is Robert Wagner. One of my most memorable characters I played on TV was Jonathan Hart. However, I have to say that my real heart, H-E-A-R-T, belongs to our wild Mustangs and where they're going to live. Now let's all come together to bring our wild horses back home, back on the range where they belong. If we all speak out together, there is no way that we cannot be heard. Let's unite and bring the Mustangs out of their holding pens as soon as possible. Wild horses are symbols of the American West, of our very culture. Uh, they are protected under federal law and it's time for our federal agencies to abide by federal law and give the animals the space and the protection they deserve in the American West. The horse helped the U.S. gain their freedom, and what we are doing is we are taking away the freedom of that animal, an animal that is supposed to roam free. And um, it's not so much that our generation suffers, it's that I have an eight-month-old baby daughter, and it's her generation that's going to suffer more than ours. We did it with the American Buffalo, we did it with the American Eagle, and uh, now we're doing it with the American Mustang. And uh, it'd be very sad to see an animal so beautiful and so powerful get run into extinction. We need you so much on this project to save these Mustangs. They're beautiful animals. They're, they're in Nevada. They're, we, we have many of them there. And, uh, and the government is wasting money. The Bureau of Land Management, BLM, is going in and spending $70 million a year on these animals when they should be just left alone let them stay on the free range. If we don't do something about preserving America's Mustangs, our future generations will miss out on the beauty of our American heritage. It makes you want to ask yourself, is this just going to become another irreversible government program? You know, I'm really uh, proud to be a part of it. Uh, uh, Madeline has, has uh, shared with me and, and been so gracious to uh, gift us to uh, the two Mustangs that will be walking behind us in the parade, Liberty and Justice. Uh, they lead us out onto the football field for every one of our football games, and uh, I'm looking forward to what's ahead uh, to, to, to uh, save America's Mustang. I'm Robert Wagner, and I care. Hi, I'm David Foster, and I care. I'm Jill St. John, and I care. My name is Chris Blassman, and I care. My name is Carissa Brambles, and I care. I'm Donnie Edwards, and I care. I'm Travis Jackson, Jr. Seminole Tribe of Oklahoma, and I care. Can you join us and help us expose the mistreatment of the American Mustang so we can save our American heritage from extinction?
Wild horses ignite something in each of us, our free spirit. We cannot let these animals suffer any longer. 